I'm Haley. I am a former Mormon. I enjoyed the LDS culture, the LDS faith. I had never questioned anything outside of the church, and I wanted the, the promises of a temple marriage and you know, living with our families for eternity. I wanted that to be true, so I held on to that for a long time. But at the same time, I had this internal battle of, I want it to be true, but I'm really not quite sure that it is. When I went to school and started meeting some people outside of the church, I started kind of like having questions like, hey, these are really awesome people. Their lives are going really well, and they're not LDS, so, I started having more questions probably in my mind coming up about maybe maybe the Mormon faith isn't the only way to live and be happy. And then I met my husband um, and he's from California. He was, his parents are Catholic and he was raised going to Catholic church growing up. And my parents told us that they could not support a wedding or a marriage that was not on the road to a temple ceiling. And so we had the missionaries over at our house every week and they were teaching my husband all, all the different beliefs and doctrine and everything. And I think during that, I started really having some big questions when I was learning, kind of relearning from a very basic perspective what the church taught and then talking to him afterwards and him being like, Haley, this doesn't, this doesn't make sense to me. We decided to try out a Christian church. During the service, the pastor said, God cares more about people than he does the rules. And I was like, okay, that's, I needed to hear that. Because my whole life I'd been living by a rule book and trying to earn, earn my place with God by following certain rules. You know, I started reading the New Testament and that's really where God started speaking to me was through those those words that completely contradicted um, everything that I thought I knew. I think for the first time in my life I was asking God questions and not knowing what His answers would be. And that's when His truth really started speaking to me because growing up LDS. I'd ask him if the church was true, but in my mind, I already convinced myself that the church was true. So when I prayed for that, I got a yes answer, but I don't think I would have accepted anything other than a yes answer. I think now understanding his grace, I want to show grace to others because he shows grace to me. I want to love others because he loves me, not because I feel like I have to, but because I want to. And I finally have that's that spiritual close intimate relationship with him and i can feel that and i want to keep that through this journey i've i've learned that i don't need anyone other than jesus he's absolutely all i need and i've just finally found a relationship with him and i know that i have a place in heaven with God because of Jesus. And there's nothing that's more important than that. There's nobody who can take that away from me.